we are at the start of the Devil Mountains Way after getting lost, backtracking a wee bit from the uh, red line. Uh, corner of the stadium is what you're looking for. We are here at uh, 940 on this, Jesus, this beautiful Saturday. We're here to prove our colleague Martin wrong, who says it is impossible to do it in six hours. Martin, that's not true. We are going to show you that it is possible today. How's it going? John here from Base Camp. We're out here walking the Devil Mountains Way in a day here. Got Anna Mount Spink behind us here. It's getting pretty warm actually and uh, going to be converting into shorts now. One of the advantages of convertible trousers is when the temperature goes up, you can quickly get into some short pants which make for more enjoyable walking. So easy just to do your zip around. Pull it down over your shoe, set it aside. You got your other leg to do, of course, but one of the more convenient inventions in outdoor technology in the last 20 years, I'd say, the convertible trousers. Makes every hike on a sunny day enjoyable. There you go, stash those aside. We're all set to carry on. So we're uh, still making our way on the Dublin Mountains Way. Uh, we're just coming down from the Krug. Probably going to mispronounce some of these things, but we're going to go over this next mountain to Braden Mountain, and then eventually we're going to get to Two Rock and Three Rock Mountains there in the distance. You can barely see that white line going up to the Fairy Castle. We're headed that direction. We have a little ways to get. Away. We're crossing a little stream here. I'm a little bit thirsty. I, uh, it's important to stay hydrated as you do a 40 day walk in a day. I have my Sawyer Mini filter here. We have the stream. It's uh, you know one of the best filters on the market. And one of the nice things about it is it comes with a little straw, so you can't get straight straight from the stream. Now we feel pretty confident that this is uh, an acceptable place to get water, and with the Sawyer Mini filter. Uh, I think that I'm pretty safe now. So, just gonna get down here, gotta reach with my straw. Hmm. How, did, how does it taste? It has, it has a distinct taste, all right, but so far no side effects, so I think that uh, any uh, sheep or cattle uh, from upstream I think that the Sawyer Mini Filter is keeping me protected. Would you say that it has a nutty flavor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Distinct, yeah. Could be, uh, could be described as nutty, all right. Alright Rich, we're here at the end of the Dublin Mountains Way in Shankill. Tell me how it feels. Deadly. <laughs> feels class. How long did it take us, Rich? Jesus. Nine hours. So marching. In a way you were right, but we were too busy enjoying and appreciating our natural surroundings, I think. It's not a race marching. <laughs> Rich, the question that's been on my mind all day though is what's in your pack? So my pack. Uh, today I just brought my Jack Holtzkin Rock 12. Yeah. I brought this freezing this morning. Please. So I had to bring all these layers. Um, base layers, warm hat, Stanley for hot soup. Marmot jacket, which was sound that worked really well. A buff for me, soup. Yeah, there you go. And just in case.
case, a, uh, a vest, a Marvin vest, didn't need to use it, a water bladder, a life straw for emergencies, a first aid kit. about did it. Yeah. Well prepared. Yes. So what do you reckon to today? Well, won't lie, I'm sore and I'm very tired. But, uh, Absolutely true.